radio studios of America, the technicians, the entertainers, the commentators, the administrative personnel daily unite their efforts in the creation of the program to please and entertain the vast radio to you, me Monkey Knots. It's me, Jack, live for the Monkey House, and uh, everyone, I'm pleased to announce the request matic from yesterday's show is taking a much-needed long weekend off. Yeah. <laughs> that thing was positively smoking by the end of yesterday's edition of Live in the Monkey House, but of course, everyone, feel free to keep your requests coming. On today's edition of Live in the Monkey House, I am engaged in something known as audience cultivation. What does that mean? Is that like when you go out in a field and you try to harvest freshly grown audience members fresh from the vine? Well, no, I don't think so. Do audience members grow in farms? I, I'm going to have to look into that. Maybe Wikipedia will be a good source for that. But no, no. When I say audience cultivation, I'm talking about how to reach out and get more out of the Live for the Monkey House audience. And I don't know, maybe goofs our numbers a little bit. And what better way than by leveraging some listeners who have been along for the ride this whole time. I'm talking about all of the imaginary friends who are currently sitting beside a, a choice number of our listeners right there in the backseat of the car. They're out there. You wouldn't know because, you know, they're mostly imaginary. But if you squint really hard, well, you still can't see them. But on today's show, we're going to meet them. Uh, before we do that, though, I'd like to meet someone uh, at random. From the Live from the Monkey House voicemail inbox. Hello, this is Joey from Kentucky, and I wanted to say I like your show very much. Bye. Oh, Joey in Kentucky! What a great way to start off a show. Now, I, I'm, I'm waving my hand in the air, Joey. I can't tell if you're real or not. Are you a free-floating apparition? I don't know. <laughs> How do I know if you're real? Maybe you're just a voice in my head. If a voicemail's left and no one else hears it, was it really a real person or was it an imaginary friend? I, I'm not sure. In fact, I think I'm just going to declare it. Joey in Kentucky, you're my new imaginary friend. When we come back, let's meet an imaginary friend of one of our imaginary listeners. No, 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 sorry. The listeners are real. It's the friends that are imaginary. Man, I can't get this straight. 